All right, well, I'm sure you don't want to see my face right now, but Sophia had a friend emergency and literally needed to leave like now. Um, so I will be answering some questions on her behalf until she gets back. So I will answer questions that I know I can answer for uh, for 100 percent for ones I cannot answer, like real personal questions. Like I know people ask things like um, how how does it feel with the baby kicks, stuff like that. I'll have her answer when she gets back. Hopefully she gets back sooner than later. Question number one, this isn't about your pregnancy, but congratulations, super excited to see baby on camera. The question I've always had is, how do you know how to speak Spanish? Sofia is half Peruvian. Her dad is Italian and her mom is Peruvian from Peru. Her mom speaks, her first language is Spanish. She's like Peruvian, Peruvian. So Sofia is half Peruvian. So she grew up speaking Spanish in her household. Um, if you watched our baby shower in Texas, half of it, was like very like Peruvian style. There's Peruvian food there. Her mom is like the funniest, sweetest woman. Um, if you guys heard her on camera, she speaks way better Spanish than she does English. Um, but that's basically how Sofia knows how to speak Spanish. And I always tell her that she said she said she she sha sha she should speak Spanish more on here, but she doesn't really like to sometimes between me and you because she like doesn't feel like she speaks the best Spanish even though she like speaks great Spanish. She, uh, Esme, my um, house cleaner that I've had for years, all they do is speak in Spanish when she's here. She does not speak to Esme in English at all. But she thinks that like, since she's not like perfect Spanish, she doesn't wanna like speak it as much on here. But I think that you guys should encourage her to speak more because she literally spoke, to me, she speaks perfect Spanish. So anyways, that's how she speaks Spanish. Will you guys still post every day after the baby arrives? I understand how busy you guys will be. Um, 100%. I will be posting every single day. And of course, we'll be busy. Um, but I do want to try to like capture as much of that as possible. And another thing too is that what I love about my community, for number one, but also just about Snapchat in general, is that every single day that I have, I can look back at it, like how the way that it's in like my app, I can look at every single day that I posted. So basically like having a camera roll of like memories and stuff like that, that I can always look back at and find exactly where it's at. So I don't want to miss and I want to be able to look back at these first like, you know, month after the baby's born, after say is born, to be able to look back at. So I don't want to miss anything. And I also want to include you guys as much as I can um, in this process and this like amazing, beautiful time, this blessed time that's about to happen right now, I want you guys to be able to live in it with us as much as possible. And a lot of us, you know, it's like, it's like the most exciting time of your life, like period. When a child is born, it, your life changes dramatically. Like literally from the time you get to the hospital to the time you leave with a whole nother person, you go to the hospital, think about that, and leave with another human being. It's crazy. And I don't think it honestly has hit me yet that this is really about to happen like literally two months. I don't think it's hit me yet. And I remember how crazy it was when Celine was born and I just can't believe I'm about to go through that again. You know what I mean? Obviously way different circumstances, a way different time in my life, a way different person I, I am. Um, I do have Celine here, which is different. I now I have a older daughter who will be able to be here to see her younger sister be born and be able to help and be involved because she is old enough now to help. Um, I'm just very, very excited. So long story short, I will be able to post as much as I can. And I'm going to try to post as much as I can. Um, again, I, guess I got to be around and helps, help as much as I can, obviously, and be present as much as I can. But I do want to try to capture as much as I can for you guys. Has Sophia packed her hospital bag already? No, she has not. We have not packed the bag yet. Um, I think we're going to wait probably till a month before um because we I don't definitely don't expect and hope that the baby does not come before then um and pray that it does not but we'll probably do it around the 34 mark I think is when we'll do it I know people want like some people do it really early some people do it like last minute but you don't want to be too last minute and then be trying to rush around um and I think we have to like really look up I don't remember what I packed what me and Sol's mom packed in her bag I don't remember what what we had in there I'm sure we filmed it. I just don't even remember what, what, what we had, what like you really need. Um, I need to look back into that and see like what you need. 
Um, but we'll definitely do that. And I can definitely do that with you guys. And maybe you guys can give suggestions of what we should do. Actually, right now, please comment so I can show Sophia when she gets back. Like, what? What do you, what's actually in the bag? What's actually in your bag? I know it's like change of clothes, pillow, snacks, uh, stuff for the baby, breast pumping stuff. Like, let me know what's in the bag. But we have not done it yet, but we are going to do it very soon. Do you plan on getting, do you have plans of getting Say His Name tattooed on you like Soul? 100%. So if you guys don't know, I have Soul tattooed on the back of my neck, big on the back of my neck. I don't know if you can see it. I might have just looked really dumb. Anyways, 100% I will be getting Say His Name tattooed. And I already have the appointment. The appointment is on the 23rd. On the 23rd. I didn't tell Sophia that, and I hope that she doesn't see this. No one say anything to her because it's low-key a surprise. Fuck, should I cut this? No, I'm going to leave it in. Just don't say anything. So I'm supposed to be try, try, try to keep it a surprise. Uh, on the 23rd, I'm getting it. I, I'm not going to tell you guys where I'm getting it, but I am getting her name um, on me. And what's really cool, the coolest part about all of this is the same person who did Soul's name on my neck is the same person who's doing Saya's name. So... It's, it's meaningful and it's cool that he gets to do it um, and the same person gets to do both names and when I have my third kid, he will also, I hope he's still tattooing because you know, I want to have a kid soon and hopefully, I know Sophia wants to have a kid soon, but I hope that he's still tattooing. Anyways, that's the most special part about it is that the same person's doing it. So again, the 23rd, I, why am I still whispering? He's not even here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Off topic, but it's been a minute. You did a grocery shopping tour. And guess the cost. We have never we never seen you go grocery shopping with Sophia. That would be nice. Okay. So they're saying, because I used to always do grocery shopping tours. I used to go grocery shopping. I used to like show what I was getting. And then I used to like have it all. I used to get hella stuff and have it all in the uh, the grocery carts. And I would take a picture of it and be like, guess the price. And if somebody guessed the price, I would like give them money. That's $100 or something. Anyways. Yeah. Me and Sophia don't go grocery shopping. That's the truth. We, just, I, we don't do that anymore. We go, we do Instacart now. Um, we do grocery shopping for certain things like you need, like random little things. So Sophia still goes like once or twice a week to the store, but it's far for like little personal things. It could be vitamins. It could be um, like the like shots, like uh, ginger shots or whatever. For me, I like those shots and like that. Little stuff that you need or like just stuff that, or if she's out already, she'll stop there. But for like our bulk of stuff, we get it through Instacart now, which I didn't even know that was a thing. Until in my last house, I saw like a lot of people in the neighborhood, people would like come and drop off a bunch of their groceries. And I was like, I didn't know people do that. So that's the truth is that we don't do it anymore because we do Instacart. But maybe I should do it just for content, just so that you guys have like another game to play and I'm still giving out money. But yeah, that's the truth. This one I can answer. Are you having your mom or Landon's mom in the delivery room? So, 100% my mom would love to be in the room, but it's not up to me. It's up to the person who's actually birthing the child, which is Sophia, and that's how it should go. And she is choosing to have her mom, which she should have her mom in the delivery room. Um, I know that she has said that like literally her own older sister, when she had uh, her son, that she literally did not have her mom in there at all because she says that her mom can be like controlling and, and be like giving too much input and like just too much in the room. And I guess she's just gonna have a real talk with her beforehand and say like, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully everything is fine, everything goes good, but she's gonna have her mom in the delivery room. I know my mom will be there, but she will not be in the room. Um, oh, I literally cannot believe this is literally like about to happen. That's a lot of the conversations that me and Sophia have are like, randomly in the middle of, like before you go to sleep we'll be like we're really like we don't have that many sleeps left with just me and you You're like we're gonna have a whole nother child here involved in our family like you know what i'm saying and me i'm gonna have two kids two daughters and a house full of women at least i got two male dogs damn any update on the vaccine situation did you guys get your shots yet no I guess the update is that there is no update or the update is that, you know, we're still deciding. She's still deciding. Um, like I said, it's not up to me. Ultimately, it is up to Sophia and she is the mom and I want her to be comfortable with the decision. Um, it's a lot to think about. It's a lot to think about because again, the ultimatum is that 
really, you just have to do your research, right? And that's what we've been doing nonstop. Um, but ultimately, it's like you get vaccinated because you're scared of, you know, your kid getting sick or whatever. You get vaccinated, right? And then got vaccinated because you, as the parent, wanted to get vaccinated, right? Of whatever vaccinations you choose or all of them or whatever or how you get them. It's a lot to think about. Or you don't get vaccinated because of you're scared of something happening to the kid because of the government vaccination. And if that kid got sick because you didn't get vaccinated, that's also on you as a parent. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it is not, it's not a little thing. It is serious. It is dramatic. It is intense. You know what I'm saying? Um, so again, I can only give her, her my two cents or whatever it is, but ultimately I'm with her and with like not really knowing. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, we don't, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? You listen to what a, what, a, what a bunch of people say online and all the TikToks you can watch and Google and everything, but ultimately it comes down to what, what you feel is right. And what I can honestly say on Sophia's behalf, and she's not here right now, is that I know that she is leading more towards not getting vaccinated. And she hasn't even really voiced that, but it's just because I know that deep down she has a bad feeling about it. And I know that she's definitely one to go with her gut feeling. And I think everybody is. And you know, women, women have the craziest instincts and the craziest gut feelings. And they're like, always right. Like you women are always right about everything. And I feel like if you feel a certain way, like your intuition is insane, that you should go with that. And that's all I can really say about it. But again, we don't have an answer. We don't have what we need to do, but we have, to, what I do know is that our time is running out. Like we have a very limited amount of time to come up with, with our plan and what we want to do. So I just pray that God, you know, leads us to the right decision. Okay, so this one, I really, really want to answer, okay? Because I would always make fun of Sophia for this. So just curious if you know how to cook. I've never seen you make one single meal since you moved into Landon's house. It's our house now, first off. Secondly, she couldn't, kick, she couldn't cook a goddamn peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the past. But she also never needed to. She was like a businesswoman, realtor, always on the move. She didn't have a man. She didn't even necessarily even need to know how to cook. When she got to me, one thing I love about Sophia is that she truly, truly made an effort to even learn. Even when we had a chef, she would spend time with the chef learning just because she wanted to be able to cook for me and Celine and to do stuff. And I, that, like, those are the type of things what makes you really, really love a person and respect a person and appreciate a person. And even now that we haven't had a chef for a while now, um, we do do like a meal prep thing, but a lot of times she cooks now and she's still learning to cook, which is crazy. Like, and she actually came a long way. We haven't even talked about her posting anything that she cooked. Last night she cooked like, um, I forgot what type of meat it was, but with rice and veggies and sweet potato fries, like she cooked like a good healthy meal uh, yesterday. And she went from like a year ago, not even knowing how to cook anything. Um, so I'm very proud of her and she has made a lot of efforts towards cooking, um, which I'm so appreciative for and is really cool. And the next time she cooks, we're definitely gonna film it and talk about it um, because I am proud of her. And she came a long, long, long way. Are you having a maternity shoot? Yes. So I might as well just give you this information now so you guys have something to look forward to. So next weekend, which is actually the same weekend, I don't know, just remember this, the same weekend as Alea's birthday, her birthday is next weekend, which is my niece, Austin's middle child. Uh, but anyways, next weekend, we have our scheduled maternity shoot. I forgot how many outfits. I want to say it's like four different outfits with four different backgrounds. I, I got to ask Sophia when she gets back. Something like that. But I, I can't wait for that. I can't wait to see how beautiful she's going to look. I can't. I, uh, I love that. And... Obviously, you know me, I'm going to try to get as much content and behind the scenes of it for you guys as I can. Um, but I just like can't wait to like get the one that we want and love and put it big in a frame in the house now and that it's our house together. Um, it's just like an amazing, beautiful time. And I love the maternity shoots. And I also can't wait for the baby shoot when Say gets here and they do the, no the newborn photo shoots. Man, like I love, love, love those. I still remember Soul. I still have Souls pictures of hers. We did hers like Christmas theme because it was delivered right before Christmas. Um, so I can't wait for that. So yeah, next weekend, be ready for our maternity shoot and probably we'll probably be posting it literally by Monday or sometime during the week we'll be posting it. <laughs> oh, 
should I wait? Should I not? Should I not answer this? Would Sophia be mad if I answer this? Would Sophia be mad if I answer this? Think, Landon, think. Don't get in trouble right now. I'm gonna wait till she gets back. I won't wait till she gets back and then I will literally answer this or we will answer this for you guys. Where are you guys going to post the birth video? Make a YouTube channel and post the full birth there. It'd be great. No, I'm sorry. I, I just cannot, I will not be posting anything vlog style, anything about my life really like that. Um, or any, at least not nothing couple related um, on YouTube ever again. I just, like I said, I just won't. It's just not my thing. I haven't done it in forever and I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do that. Everything will be here on Snapchat. And like I said, I'm going to bring multiple phones. I'm going to do my best to capture this whole thing literally like a stream almost, like 24-7 footage of this birth. Like I want to try to get as much of it as I can to you guys just because so many people are, are invested in this and so many people like like are engaged in this. Like right now with these questions with Sophia, you guys would never even guess how many questions are actually asked like to Sophia about this. Well, to us, but to Sophia because it's like about pregnancy and stuff like that. And I want, I feel like it's like, part of my job to do that. I want to try to capture as much as I can. Obviously, I'm not going to capture like things that you shouldn't capture or things that are personal. Um, but Sophia is also on board with like, like I said, you guys have been a part of this thing forever, not forever, since the beginning. And we want to do right by you guys and give you guys as much of it as possible. Like to feel like, you know, like how we feel, which is like, you guys are, are our family and you guys are here with us. So, like I said, I'll be posting everything here on Snapchat as much as I possibly can here. Literally from the time we get ready to go to the hospital, which is crazy. Oh my God, if she has a water break. I don't know what that's like when, when like to have your uh, you know, wife, pregnant person's water break. I've never experienced that because with Celine was a C-section. It was planned. It was a scheduled thing. I can't imagine how like, oh my God, how like like stressful that would be. Or like, or if she's induced, there's like so many ways to go about it. I don't, I don't even know. It's stressful just thinking about it. But again, I'm gonna try to capture as much as I possibly can. Has Sophia gotten any emotional or mental symptoms during? First off, this might be the last question I ask until she gets back. Has Sophia gotten any emotional or mental symptoms during her pregnancy that made it a struggle for both of you? I know a lot of people get emotionally drained during this time. <laughs> Honestly, again, I really have nothing to compare it to besides um, Soul's pregnancy with her mom. I mean, Celine's mom's pregnancy with her. Um, that's all I can really compare it to, um, which I'm not going to, obviously. But I honestly feel like Sophia has been handling everything extremely, extremely well. And like she likes to talk about, which I think is a valid point, a lot of people in the beginning were like, would, were thinking that Sophia would be so upset about her body and the changes that are gonna happen because she has work done and stuff like that. So people just think that she like super, super cares about her body like that, which I mean, you should care about your body like that. But anyways, they think that like, it was so important to her and she wants to look so perfect that like, you know, having a baby could like damage your body or whatever. And that was gonna be very tough on her and that'd be like a depressing thing for her. But honestly, she hasn't really brought it up like that. She doesn't talk about it like that. She talks about stuff that makes her feel uncomfortable, like the swelling, um, stuff like that. And at most, she'll feel like not the prettiest, which I think is extremely normal for any mom, pregnant mom going through that, right? Like pregnant with your child and your body going through changes that's your like that's every I feel like every person deals with that every person I've I've heard they deal with that as a, as a woman which is completely understandable and your body does go go through a lot of changes like and she's gained almost she's one she's gained like I don't know she's gained like 40 50 pounds she's gained a lot of weight which again is normal and I think that my job as the partner and as the person who gave you the baby like, well, she's giving me the baby. The person that like put the baby in you is to support her and to make her feel the, like the prettiest woman in the world because she is at all times. I think that's like part of my job, my duty. And I think I do a great job at that, even though she's like, stop, 
No, I don't. But I don't care. I say it every day, multiple times a day, no matter what. I always say it. I always say how beautiful she is, how sexy she is, all, all these things. I always, always, always say it because I know that she doesn't feel like that sometimes. She feels like her face is always super swollen and her legs are swollen and she just feels big. She just feels big. She always says, I just feel so big. Um, but besides that, she's obviously dealt with like that a little bit. But that's really like the most that it's really been. I think she's done. She's put up. She, all right. So that was it for the questions that I can answer. Uh, a lot of the other ones that are like really good questions and personal questions, I'm not even going to act like I can answer them. Um, but the last thing I did want to talk about with you guys today is just Hurricane Milton and um, my family in Florida. And uh, a lot of people still have no power, which is crazy. A lot of people still have no power. A lot of people lost everything. There's people who have lost their lives, people who lost their animals, lost their pets. Um, and it's crazy that like, like, like it has happened like that. And it's like a lot of people didn't even have the means, um, like the financial means to even support, I mean, not to, didn't have, talk, my man, doesn't, didn't have the financial means to even prepare the way that they should have prepared because they just couldn't, especially with how inflation is right now and people losing their jobs and everything being expensive. Like, it's crazy that to have people going through this type of thing in, in our country where it's like hard to even support their family and then they have to prepare for maybe their whole livelihood and their family's house getting just crushed it's terrible bro and i'm praying for my family their house was thrashed um a lot of people they know and a lot of people got it worse a lot of people don't have family to rely on a lot of people don't have other people who can help them out um, like that. And again, you can't forget that it was in Mexico first and a lot of Mexico was damaged too. Um, and a lot of you guys reached out from me, which I already knew, but it really made me want to talk about it because a lot of people that watch us on here and, and uh, watch me on here and who reached out to me on my Instagram and um, talked about how, you know, a lot of people weren't speaking about it, um, about Mexico. I am. And um, I want to speak for all the people who support me, who were affected by the hurricane and all of you who support me who are literally directly affected by something that is crazy like this that they literally have no control over um so my prayers are with you uh, my thoughts are with you again um i'm gonna be we will me and sophia will be donating uh to we haven't found an organization for um like multiple people let so if you guys well multiple people in florida or in mexico so if you guys have one please drop it here or directly send it to me on instagram um but obviously i will be helping my family as well um again i'm sorry it's it, that's like i can't even imagine that especially with the kids going being tra uh, traumatized through that and literally house being completely flooded water breaking crashing through your house and stuff like that people who stayed and then evacuated because they literally could not leave it's crazy bro it's crazy, and I'm sorry that that even had to happen. But uh, again, my prayers with you guys. I love you guys, and thank you guys always for your support. And I this. Something happens because they got sick. I mean, something happens because you got vaccinated to your child, and then you have to live with that. You have to know that that was on you. Your kid had no choice.